Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm back today with another tech review and this is a portable power station from the good people over at TechOS. They sent this to me to review, so I'm not getting paid nothing for it. I'm just doing the review for them. This should be a great little device that you can take out with you on a trip, on a daily excursion. Should be plenty of power to power all your devices and keep everything up and going. You also have a 110 on here so you can actually run some things off of it and use it for charging also. It does come with a carrying strap. It comes with a 110 to DC charger with the power cable. It also comes with a USB cable that's USB-C to USB-C that you can power some things and charge some things with. So it also comes with a warranty card, a user manual, and a user guide. Now anytime you're picking a portable power station like this, there's a few things you want to consider and keep in mind to make sure that it meets your needs. One of the most important things is capacity. And this unit would be in 300 watts is about the right size to take out on a day's outing and to power all your devices, charge your cell phones, you can charge your laptops, you can charge your drone batteries and things like that and run some uh, electrical devices off of. And of course there is a lot of other portable power stations out there you can get to deliver 500 watt hours, 1000 watt hour, even up to gigantic ones. But for most people in most situations to take out on a day's trip with you to power things and charge your batteries, this 300 watt from Techos should be about the perfect thing to take with you. So let's talk about the power outlets. This thing has a 12 volt outlet that is 10 amp, which you can use to run a lot of different things. You can actually plug in another USB charger here if you don't have enough USBs. Uh, it does have 12 volt 3 amp jacks here that you can connect things to. It also has a 5 volt 2.4 amp USB jack here that you can plug in things to standard USB. And one of the cool things about this is the USB-C outlet is also 60 watt PD. So this thing is means power delivery and that it can take and it will look at your device. It can know what your device needs and it will automatically switch to whatever voltage and current that it needs to charge that device more efficiently. And another cool thing is this USB-C is 60 watt, which means if you're taking a laptop out there to charge, uh, a lot of devices don't have 60 watt output. Well, this has 60 watt output, so it'll do a great job of charging something like your MacBook or your Windows laptop. And so the 60 watt on the USB-C is another great option that it has. On this side over here is the AC 110 60 Hertz uh, outlet, and it is 200 watts, 300 watts peak, which is nice that you can connect this to some fans, TVs, whatever else that you might want to run off this thing. While also using this, you can also be charging things on your 12 volt and your 5 volt USB, USB-C, uh, and, your, and your 12 volt 3 amp outlets here. At the same time, as I said, you could be using this 110 over here. So that's a really cool feature. Another cool thing about this is, this is pure sine wave, which a lot of devices are not. So one of the big things about this uh, AC outlet is, it's pure sine wave. A lot of things you want to watch out for is some devices actually have a modified sine wave, which is not a nice smooth curve on the sine wave. And a lot of devices these days are finicky about having a pure sine wave, and this is a good pure sine wave AC outlet. All right, we also have a good looking strap here. So we have a strap, looks like carabiners on it. Then on the side here, it has these, uh, looks like a leather strap here with a brass ring. So we just snap our strap in there. This would be pretty handy if you're going on a long hike and need to carry it to have a strap, but you can actually uh, stretch this strap out quite a ways. It's actually shortened up all the way, looks like, for shipping purposes, but you can stretch it out all the way, carry it around your shoulder, take it with you. So that's actually pretty cool to have that. Or you can just carry it by the handle if you prefer. But a good way to keep from dropping it is to use the strap. Okay, so there I have a little fan plugged in. We can see that it's pulling 26 watts on high. Uh, the small fan that I have shows on the outside 20. 24, 23, it's kind of dropping down a little level out there, 22. But that's how much the fan is drawing, so there it went back up a little bit. It started going down, now it's going back up. Um, and then also when we plug in the power, it should show uh, what kind of power we're putting into this thing. All right, so now you can see that I have the power adapter plugged into it that goes to the 110 wall outlet. And the little light shows that it's on charging. We turn it around, if we look at the display, shows that we're putting in 47 watts, so pretty good there. It's nice that it shows the in and it shows the out, how many watts that you're actually doing, so you can actually just calculate how many uh, watts you're using 
by the hours and you can tell about how long your battery is going to last on this. Okay, now you can see I got some things plugged into it. So I'm running this fan here. I'm running it actually on high, the small fan. I'm actually charging my iPhone and then I am charging my laptop. Charging my laptop using the Tecos USB-C to USB-C cable that they supplied. So it's a good little cable to pack with you. You can charge a lot of things off USB-C now. And now mostly I wouldn't be taking a fan on a day trip when I go. If I go camping, I might but I would take my drone and charge my drone batteries instead of the fan, so it would actually be drawing uh, less current than that. Right now, we are drawing about 43 watt, so that's not bad at all considering we're charging this. Now, this thing is pretty close to full charge, and the phone is, oh, it's half charged, so it's charging the phone up too. Really pretty cool, so we can run all this stuff off this thing, and just super quiet to take with you out on a trip. You wanna go and you wanna be quiet and discreet, very handy to take with you camping, take out on a day trip to do some drone shots and drone videos, real good for that. Or if you're doing a lot of photography and you want to charge camera batteries and stuff, this would be a super little unit to have. Or just to have in your house if the power goes out. Power goes out and for the price of these things, this is the way to go. Just have one of these around, keep it charged up. You can even use it once in a while just to cycle the batteries and use them. And whenever the power goes out, you got it made. Just plug some stuff into this. That would run everything in your house, of course, but you could run like a small fan. You could charge some batteries. You could probably run, even run, no problem, your Wi-Fi router. Uh, so when my power goes out, I have fiber optic, but the Wi-Fi router power goes out, so it won't work. I could actually just plug it into this. Still have Wi-Fi to use my laptop off this, my phone and everything while I'm using my Wi-Fi. So that's it for the Tecos TPB P300W 300 watt portable power station. Thank you guys for watching. I will post a link to this below. Check out my other videos. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Right on.